Hey guys, Justin Dunn here at American Mustang School. We're making a bunch of videos on the bitless bridle. And I, I, some things have come up, you know, pros and cons of the bitless bridle. You can do anything you want in this bitless bridle that you could do with a bit. The one thing you can't do is increase the level of willingness in the horse. This bitless bridle will increase that level of willingness. There's a lot of pros, so I'll just touch on a few of the best pros of this bridle. You know, we can continue to do ground communication with this bridle and then transfer right to their back. So in, a, in an equine therapy setting, you know, it's real important to maintain that level of harmony and balance in the horse. So if we're in a lead rope and halter and we transition from a lead rope and halter to go to a bitless bridle and then transfer to the back, the horse stayed stable the entire time, harmony and balance. If I, if I were to put a bit in some horses, you know, they, they're not, they don't like them. They, they toss their head, they do all these things that you just unnecessary. Change the whole harmony and balance of the, of the situation. So we wanna maintain that through the whole session. Ground tying, I can ground tie this horse. Say somebody needs to get down and they gotta go get a drink off the fence. They can drop a rein and go get what they need. It, and it doesn't break that harmony and balance. It's, it's stable. So they step on a rein, not a big deal. It's, it's not going to damage their mouth. That's a real good pro that I like because I want to protect my horses. And sometimes people are beginners, they don't really understand. They'll drop a rein and they just take off. My horses understand the ground tie, but they may step on a rein once in a while and then they feel that and it's just pressure. It's not gonna damage their gums or their tongue or their teeth. Uh, best pro right there. So we can tie, we can tie a horse to a tree, tie them to a trailer. Uh, and it's not going to damage their mouth. It adjusts quickly to fit many different horses. So I may take this bridle off and go put it on whiskey back there or vice versa. And I just quickly adjust it to that individual. It does form fit to the horse and it's supposed to. So that's really cool about this bitless bridle. People like this bridle, but horses love it. Now, I want to explain a con to you. Since you stuck with me this long in this video, I'm going to give you one con about this bridle. It can, it is possible that it could cause fear of criticism in the person that uses this bridle on their horse because other people that don't understand it will knock it, will abuse the uh, idea, uh, and maybe cause that person to feel criticism. The fear of criticism is, is actually a good thing in, in the bitless bridle world because it shows that you're an independent thinker and you really don't care about what other people think you care more about what your horse thinks. So I have asked thousands of horses, would you rather wear this or would you rather wear one with a bit? Not one chose the bit. So hands down, I'm here to speak for the horse. They want bitless bridles. I've seen them utilize bit, bitless bridles with people that don't even know how to apply pressure. It, the most chaotic looking thing you could think of. This increased the margin of error to where the horse was like, I'll give him time to figure it out. He's jerking on my face and okay, I'll figure it out. But if a horse had a bit in their mouth and a person does that, you're just, you're setting up artificial barriers in their mind that you, you cannot go past to, to increase learning and the desire to continue doing whatever it is you're doing. This piece of equipment allows the horse to free up restriction in the mind, tension in the body, maintain harmony and balance, and you can go to levels you never even knew existed. Highly recommend it.